You recorded <laughs> this already? Of course I have. It's too many shadows. I'm just shadows. not good lighting, Lawrence. So now that we're in better lighting, <laughs> <Take two. laughs> she's, well, it she's better, less wrinkled. We're gonna do menial tasks today, don't we? Menial tasks. What are we doing today? Shopping. <laughs> it's never menial, Lawrence. It's a task for me. <laughs> I'm just about to have some Asian food. Karen hates Asian food. She's, I'm the only Asian she loves. So I went to Hague's Chocolate, which is one of my favorite things to do. Love Hague's Chocolate. So if you're gonna get me a gift, Hague's Chocolate is actually a good call. I have a certain vice, and I'm sure we all have those vices. My vice is dark chocolate. When you're actually paying for chocolate, oftentimes you see in the counter is these truffles. So there's something special about a chocolate truffle. Handmade, delicious flavor, and when you put it in your mouth, it explodes with this flavor. You know it's expensive, but you know it's good quality as well. And the reason why it's expensive is because it's premium, right? It's, they don't even actually have a price per truffle, it's actually based on a weight. So they have to measure each one, you know, put the gloves on, and they pick each one of those truffles and put it on a weight scale and they measure it. And that is the difference between a high quality brand of chocolate and a truffle versus, you know, buying a, you know, just a, just a normal chocolate bar, like an M&M's or a Snickers bar from the counter. I'm salivating just talking about it. I think this is what makes you different in your business, is that when you can actually create something that's special, that's unique, that is handcrafted, and separate you from the rest of the competition, all of a sudden, like, you just basically created a desirable outcome, but for a specific try. If you wanna go for the masses, like say a Snickers bar or a Coca-Cola, then go for the masses. But if you really wanna create a unique experience or create a unique product or a service, then you gotta do something special. You gotta create something magical that someone wants to keep on talking about. More and more people enter into the marketplace, whether you're a chiropractor or a dentist, or maybe you have a physical product that you're selling. I think the more unique that you actually are, where you stand out, where you create a product or deliver a service that is so exceptional that they only think of you when they see it or hear it. That experience can only experience through your company or through your business or through your personality. I believe that's the next evolution of business. I think it's really important to know right off the bat, are you trying to serve everybody in your community or are you trying to serve a certain segment of your community? So we've been talking about our chocolate and you said, oh, I don't have a product. Well, let's talk about service or maybe an experience. For this one, I think it's better if I actually have a female perspective telling you about this. But if you've also got a product that is similar to what everybody else is selling, the main way that you can differentiate yourself is through service. What can you do to make it such an exceptional service for that customer that they'll tell everybody, that they'll keep coming back, and that they will rave about you? People want to belong to a tribe. They want to feel like they connect and that they have a chance to speak with people and that they're important. You can do this. It's such an easy thing. And yet so many companies don't take the time or the effort to do this. See any traffic inside the park in the shopping mall. For example, look at Look Smart Alterations that's in chats with Chase here in Sydney. They've taken a service that, you know, most people need, getting their jeans short and or pants, clothes taken in, and they've taken a mundane job that you really don't want to do. We often have clothes sitting around for months or weeks waiting just to take it in and created and elevated that experience. They've made it an wow experience for people. You almost feel like you're a bride going in there because that's how brides feel when they go into rooms like that. They're put on a podium, they're surrounded by mirrors, they're made to feel wonderful and that it's their day and they've basically recreated that experience for the everyday person going in you almost want to just go in there and get something altered so that you can be in that environment I don't know about you but I would rather work with people who actually appreciate a chocolate truffle appreciate the quality and the service that you're providing it's not for everybody but it's not meant for everybody it's meant for the select few who appreciate the work that you put into something appreciate the effort that you goes into creating that experience even to the minor details that appreciation goes a long way and that's how you form a tribe a tribe of people who believe in your work who believe in your product who believe in your service they're the ones who become your raving fan you don't have to have millions of people like Kevin Kelly said it's about getting your 1,000 true fans if you have 1,000 true fans to your particular product or services you're gonna be able to create an amazing business my vice is dark chocolate what's your vice comment below and let me know 
I would love to know what you crave for. It's still recording. It's still recording. This is a rarity. We actually got to go out tonight. This is very unusual. Can you have me back for 9.30? <laughs> we'll make it back. Maybe 9.45. Pajama time. I All right, so here, here tonight at dinner with Sasha and Miguel. Miguel, <laughs> from the living room. We got a dinner tonight with all the uh, parents. Our kids gone to bed. Yes! We get to we get to party. <laughs> Cheers. So you only chew it once. So you put it in your mouth, chew it once, and swallow. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Once, swallow, and have a sip of wine. Have a sip of wine. Have a sip of wine. Quick, quick. And just let it flow in your mouth. Hey. That's, the, that's how you eat with your... That's why she should really try things. Like, she doesn't try things.